Hi there. We're continuing our journey through the Psalms, the Tehillim, the praises, and we're in Psalm 49. Tehillim uh, Mem Tet. Mem is the letter numeral for 40, and Tet is the letter numeral for 9. It's uh, again to the chief musician, Lamnat Seir. It's a Mizmor, it's a musical composition, and it's Livne Korach. Again, it's one of those for the sons of Korah, who are part of the praise band in David's sanctuary and maybe later in the temple as well. This is a very sobering psalm because it talks about the transience of life. It also talks about the tendency of men to believe that they're going to go on forever and that they can make themselves famous uh, by putting up memorials and so on. And the singer here is saying that he's speaking of wisdom here. He's speaking of understanding, of Huchman Tvunah, rather like the, the, the Proverbs would say. And in fact, he, he uses, the singer here uses a word, um, Mashal, where he says, I'm going to tell you a parable is the English translation, but Mashal is kind of a life saying. It's a life rule. It's a, a, a story for life. And he's going to say something which is, is applicable. So kind of like a proverb as well as a parable. When the Hebrew language talks about the parables of Jesus, it talks about the Meshale Yeshua, the parables of Jesus. So there's something in here which is a, a parallel story that we're needing to listen to about life. And he's saying that he is, uh, he's, he's talking about the rich who boast themselves in their wealth and they put their security into their wealth, but actually no one's able to save a brother. No one is able to save their family. No one's able to save someone else by their riches. Everyone is subject to the same end. Um, and uh, but but redemption is is precious. They want redemption. They want not to see forever. They see corruption. They want to live forever. Um, but they and 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 inwardly they're thinking, oh my 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 generations will go on forever. I will not. I will not perish. But actually, the singer says everyone does perish. This outward form goes to the dust. We we decline. We we decay and therefore uh, we are we are like all human beings whether we're rich or poor and everyone goes the same way from dust we are to dust we shall return those words that are spoken over people who come to ash wednesday communion uh, when they are ashed with the sign of the cross said dust you are to dust you shall return turn from uh, turn from sin and follow christ but there's something beautiful in the midst of this in Psalm, uh, in Psalm 49, 15, where the singer says, but you will redeem my soul from the power of the grave. Ach Elohim yifdei nafshi miyad sha'ol. He will save, he will rescue my soul from the power of death. There's this amazing statement in the midst of this, even though the singer is saying everyone is going to die, there's going to be this outcome, yet he will redeem, he will save, he will rescue. So let's not worry ourselves, says the singer, about the rich. Let's not worry about the glory, this fading glory that is here on the earth. And uh, he, he's going to actually be gathered to his fathers. That, that, that phrase from the Old Testament about death, he was gathered to his fathers. Um, and actually, man is going the same way. But let's hold on to this reality, this wonderful reality, that you will rescue, you will redeem my soul from the hand of the grave. This is amazing that we have a redeemer. We have one in Hebrew, sometimes called pode, the redeemer, the rescuer, as well as goel, the other word that means to legally ransom. And we have Yeshua. We have Jesus who has ransomed us by overcoming himself the power of the grave. Let's rejoice in that fact today that even though these bodies will die, these bodies will perish, yet Jesus is the one who has promised us resurrection life. Have a good day.